On a lawn of brilliant green, he could see the sprinkled figures of his mother's guests, some sitting under the trees, some strolling about. He could hear their laughter and the tap of the croquet mallets. Round the garden spread the park. A herd of deer stood flicking their short tails in the shade of the beeches. For those with money, the period up to the First World War was undoubtedly one of ease, security and comfort. At the top of society, the landed elite, many of them old aristocratic families who may have been losing their grip on the reins of power but still retained fabulous wealth. Five or six large houses, enormous estates, 40 or 50 living in servants. Families like the Cavendishes entertained lavishly in London, and at weekends, Chatsworth, their country house, was filled with parties of visitors. The landed aristocrats were now joined by the new wealth of industry and commerce, who aped their lifestyle. Manderston in Berwickshire was built for Sir James Miller, the heir of the millionaire merchant. He demanded a house of glittering style to match his wealth and status as a country gentleman. furniture maker William Reed. With low taxation and the availability of cheap servants, those with money could enjoy a golden age, with all the trappings of wealth from steam yachts to motor cars, foreign travel and luxury hotels. Thank you.